Do you want to just have a collar and be something smaller? Ooh, I was rhyming. <laughs> Sign me a contract. What's up, what's good? Hey, it's your girl K Dejane, and we are back with another video. Today's video is gonna be about something that I am very passionate about, and if you know me, you already know it's carnival. Carnival season is approaching. First carnival post-pandemic, Miami Carnival. I mean, Orlando Carnival counts, but Miami Carnival is big, it's bad, and you just you just have to be there. So, of course, if you wanna be in carnival, you have to be in a band and in a costume. So that's what today's video is gonna be all about. Carnival 101, how to choose your band and how to choose your costume. These two things are very important. And as somebody who is passionate about carnival as I am, you wanna make sure you're choosing the right band and you're choosing the right costume. So let's get straight into it. So first things first, you have to know what band you want to be in. So typically, this comes from a list of bands. There are many, many bands that participate in Miami Carnival and any carnival around the world, basically. Um, if you just do your research a little bit just to know what bands participate in carnival and then to also know what would be the best bands for you to play in. So there's three things you want to look for when choosing a carnival band. One, the reviews. Are they a good band and you definitely want to be in their band and experience what they have to offer? There two, their DJ lineup. Are their DJs gonna cater to you? Are they gonna cater to the carnivalist in you? And three, their amenities. What do they have to offer that differs them from any other band that makes me want to play with them? Number one, their reviews. It definitely doesn't hurt to ask around what band other people prefer to play with and get their opinion and just see where they feel on certain bands because of course bands aren't going to post the bad about them no one's going to post that they're going to post the glitz and the glam and the fun and the vibe and the litness and the whatlessness and the bacchanal they're not going to post anything bad so you definitely want to know what is there to know about this band what is there that's pros and cons like you want to know everything for example is a post i will link it below that basically shows the top 10 bands that you could be with in Miami Carnival. Make sure you do your research and ask around. Of course, there are many experienced carnivalists who can give you pros, cons, do's, don'ts on many of the bands that participate in any carnival for that matter, not just Miami Carnival. So you don't wanna just go by their amount of followers that they have on Instagram per se because a band can have a lot of followers, but their service, their overall experience may not be exactly what you're looking for. So that's why you wanna make sure you ask around, you check Instagram. Instagram pages like Follow Soka and Team Soka, actually around carnival season, they post a lot about a lot of things about the bands that participate in carnival so i'm just gonna say this based off of the band that i am playing with for my amy carnival so i will be playing with kate paya and red ants juvie so i chose kate paya based off of the reviews so i definitely want to make sure and you need to make sure that you're choosing a band that has good reviews you've heard nothing but good things about them and you know that for sure if you decide to play with this band it's gonna be nothing but a good experience i heard great things about kipaya for them to have been their first year in 2019 i've just heard so many th good things about the experience overall and their customer service of is top tier and as someone who's now playing within their self i can definitely say i love the cape fire team so uh, shout out to dj sinister and stupid back and miami dream team if y'all are watching my video but definitely good reviews is what you want to go for all day long i have heard so many things about other bands that just make me not want to play with them for example i've heard that band's costumes have fallen apart before people even started on the road i heard a band ran out of water and i can't be out there thirsty it's hot so i need my band to have unlimited water all day if you run out of water you need to go get some so i'm not gonna play with a band where multiple people have said they ran out of water so number two a band's dj lineup 
when you choose a band you want to make sure you're familiar with their DJs and if you're not familiar then you need to get familiar I'm definitely gonna go with a band who I know has DJs that I've either heard before or played live or I've listened to their mixtape on SoundCloud and I know the type of back that I'm gonna be getting myself into because I know that I want to be skinned out on the road, winding up on the people that mind, and enjoying myself, okay? So I'm going to go with the DJs that I'm familiar with, and I know will have exactly me doing that. So you can find out where your favorite DJ will be playing. If you have a favorite soca DJ who you know typically plays in carnival or might be in that type of scene, then figure out if they're going to be on a truck, and if so, follow the truck okay that may be one of your top three bands that you want to look into for playing mass and if not then familiarize yourself with some soca djs and just figure out who you like the best i'm sure if you love carnival you have some favorite soca djs that you like to listen to so figure out where they're playing and just build your top three list of bands that way that's also an easy thing to do but i always go by my favorites and i know who's gonna have me skin solve on the road Okay, so number three, amenities. What does this band have to offer that differs them from any of the other bands that makes me know for sure that I want to play with them? For example, the band that I am playing with offers a makeup station, a mobile bar, a mobile restroom, a mobile hookah bar. Like, what band you know offers hookah on the road? Mimosas. You had me at mimosas. That's why I wanted to play with k -Maya. To be honest, you had me at mimosas. That's all you had to say. That was I was dropping my card out to pay my deposit at that at that point. Like k -Maya for sure won me over just by having mimosas and a mobile hookah bar. Like that is that is a soca lover's dream. Like I can't wait. That's all I have to say. I can't wait. But those are just some of the few of many amenities that my band has to offer. And I know Freaks Mask actually offers a makeup station as well. And I think a complimentary wax I've seen um, in their carnival packages. I've never heard of that. I think that's pretty cool. And that may be something you want to look into when you're playing with the band. Do I, do I want to get my snatched complimentary or do I want to go go ahead and book my wax lady as a matter of fact I think I would be more comfortable with my wax lady well I mean whatever floats your go okay go where you go where you want to go but amenities for sure that's something I want to look into. What does this band have to offer that is going to make this experience like no other? Okay, next. So once you choose your carnival band, after you do your research, your reviews, you look into what DJs they have, you look into their amenities, and you're like, okay, this is the band that I know I want to play with. I don't care what anybody else says, what anybody else drops. This is the band that I want to play with for sure. You move on to your costume. That is the big shit, man. You have to make sure you also love your costume. You have a beautiful costume. You don't want to make it be a costume that you like. You want it to be a costume that you love. What costume do you want to be in? Whether that's back line, mid line, front line, no line at all. <laughs> it's definitely front line or no line for me. I know for sure that I want to play front line. So start thinking about what type of costume you want to be in. So with that comes three things. The body wear, the backpack, and the sturdiness. So let's start with body wear. You definitely want to make sure that you decide on some colors that are going to look good on your skin that you know that you love, not any colors that you feel like you don't like or you're iffy about because the body wear is the most one of the most important things for me. I want to know that my body wear alone is gonna snap on the road because if I just decide to mash up my backpack or leave it any place and some people do but I'm definitely not gonna be doing that I'm keeping my backpack I paid good money for this I just want to make sure that my body wear alone is to the T so I'm definitely gonna make sure that I choose colors that I absolutely love I know a color that's gonna look good on my skin I'm definitely not gonna choose anything that I don't like I feel like when it comes to colors that's the easiest part of a body wear or of the costume overall that 
you'll be able to knock off the checklist first. What colors do I want to be in? Also, when it comes to body wear, you have to think of what you like and dislike about body wear. For me, I do not like sleeves. I don't know what's with this trend for Miami Carnival right now, but the sleeves on a costume, it's too hot for that. I don't want to be in those sleeves. So I know I'm not going for a costume with sleeves. Strings are also something that's very popular as well. I don't want no strings because the time my string fall off, I'm over it. No, I want something that's going to be easy to maneuver and I don't have to worry about things falling off or anything that's just too much overall. One thing I definitely love in body wear is things that cross over my stomach, a nice stomach design so that my stomach isn't just too bare. I don't want to go for any body wear that just has a top and a bottom and nothing going on in the middle. I want something going on in the middle, you feel me? Like your upper body is what people are going to see first. They're going to see here up. So you want to make sure not only are your backpack which is what I'm about to get to, but your body itself. All right, so now that you got your body wear down, let's think about your backpack size. Do you wanna just have a collar and be something smaller? Ooh, I was rhyming. <laughs> I need a contract. Damn, what did I just, I don't even remember what I just said. Smaller in color, yeah. Do you want something smaller with a collar and something that's basically backline? Or do you want something a little bit bigger, like a small back, an actual small backpack, and that would be midline? Or do you want a large backpack and be frontline? For me, it's frontline or no line. I want a nice, big, pretty backpack that's gonna look like I'm about to fly away. <laughs> like, I wanna look like a bird. <laughs> basically which is something that I normally wouldn't say but I definitely want my costume to look like a just big ass pretty bird and of course with choosing your backpack size you're also basically choosing the price range that you want to fall into because of course the bigger the backpack then the more pricier your costume is definitely going to be so number three when it comes to choosing your carnival costume is sturdiness is this easy for me to walk up to and is it going to hold or is it going to fall apart i'm definitely not going to choose anything that's too dangly on my legs because that and sometimes when you're wearing stockings it's easy for things to fall off and get caught up in your stockings and rip so that is definitely something that i look into when it comes to my costume what kind of thigh and leg pieces am i gonna have and are those gonna be sturdy and then is the bra going to completely hold me exactly where I want to be holding so that my chest, the little bit of chest that I have, doesn't fall out on the road. But you also want to make sure you look into other things as well. If you're going to go with something that has dangly pieces, are these pieces out of the way so that you can walk up how you want to and your costume is not going to fall apart. At the end of the day, I want to preserve my costume. When I build my house, I want to have a carnival costume showroom. So I need to save all of my costumes so that y'all get where I'm going. And bonus number four for costumes, because I definitely just thought about it and didn't introduce it earlier, is designers. That is super important to me when it comes to choosing a carnival costume. Is the designer a good designer? Because that's basically what your costume is going to fall into. It's all in the hands of your designer. That was quick, easy, and simple. So definitely research your designers. Sean Donraj, which I will tag him down below along with some of my other favorite designers like Alejandro Alejandro, Misha Feliz. I hope I'm saying all of these names correctly. I will tag them all below. Those are some of my favorite designers, so I would definitely know that I would want to be a cost in a costume by one of them. And there's many bands that they have designed for. For example, Sean has designed for my <laughs> carnival costume band, but I'm not in his costume. I'm actually in one of the other de designers' costumes that I listed, so y'all will see. No, I'm not telling y'all which section I'm playing in. My section is the secret. All right, so that's about it. Those are just a few of my tips on choosing your 
carnival bag and your costume i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want me to do any more videos on carnival 101 or anything about carnival in general just let me know because this is definitely something that i am passionate about and i would love to share my experience and my knowledge of what i can with all of you now with that being said if i didn't say it already i am playing with k paya and red and juve for miami carnival 2021 so see me on the road if you are coming definitely comment down below and let me know reach out to me on all of my social media which is down below that kind of just rhymed this is my second time i'm on a roll if you are going to be in miami for miami carnival then definitely reach out to me and let me know i would love to link up with you maybe we could even share a little wine meet up at a fet i am down for meeting new friends i love it all even if you're not from here we can still be friends okay we can be pen pals like let's do it and of course don't forget to follow me on all of my social media down below my orlando carnival vlog will actually be going up very 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 soon so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already like and give a thumbs up to this video and of course share it with your friends because you gotta be keeping up with kate i'll see you on my next video bye